Over the past few months, you might have noticed slight bump in the production value, like better image quality, softer lighting, and hopefully better audio as well. During the process, we have come across some really handy camera hacks, but hey, you don't have to go through all the hit and trial like we did. So here are some of the best DSLR hacks that we have discovered so far. But hey, why I'm saying this? Rohit, you are the video guy. Shouldn't you be doing this? Cool, why not? Starting off, you must have noticed by now that the LCD screen in your DSLR isn't that great for monitoring the shots. The screen is not only small, but more importantly, you become dependent on it, making it difficult for you to move around. This is why professional videographers and cinematographers use external monitors on set. And while they do solve the problem, they don't come cheap. Hmm, how about we use our tablets and smartphones instead? We have a 70D with us. So we are using the camera connector by Canon to wirelessly control our DSLR. The app turns the tablet screen into a remote control of your DSLR, through which you can not only click pictures, but also adjust various camera settings like ISO, aperture, shutter speed, among many others. In addition to being portable, tablets also give you a much bigger display, which is super helpful for monitoring your shots. But here's the bummer, as much as the app is helpful, which it is, it won't let you shoot videos. Canon doesn't allow video recordings when your camera is Wi-Fi enabled. And for videographers like me, that's a big letdown. Never mind though, third-party apps like DSLR Remote Control lets you remotely shoot videos using your Android device. Make sure you don't lose your cables though, you will need it here. Next up, a real game changer for getting the most out of your DSLRs shooting videos in RAW mode. Now by default, the stock firmware in your DSLR does not support RAW video recording. So you would need third-party firmwares for your DSLR, which you can find online. If you are a Canon user like me, go for the Magic Lantern firmware. In case you didn't know, RAW mode allows your camera sensor to record the complete image data, which allows for a relatively higher dynamic range in your picture than the default mode. Copy the firmware files onto your DSLR's SD card and install it from the settings menu. The great part about Magic Lantern is that it doesn't override the stock firmware. It runs in parallel to it. Once installed, open up the Magic Lantern settings through the trash button and load the raw recording feature from the module settings. And there you go. Choosing to go raw would mean that you'll need a really fast SD card in order to record in full HD. You will also need a really powerful computer in order to process and edit the raw footage. A word of caution, using firmware such as the Magic Lantern would void your camera warranty. So do proceed at your own risk. Number 3 on the list, another handy feature from Magic Lantern, Zebras. You might have realized by now that it's very hard to judge the exposure levels of your shot going by the LCD displays in DSLRs. You end up relying on your eyes to make that super important judgement and more often than not, you go wrong. If you haven't already, I would highly recommend using zebra meters to expose your shots. The meter highlights the overexposed region of your frame with diagonal stripes real time. Super helpful when you adjust your ISO. Moving on. One of the most important factors in creating a good shot and I can't stress on this enough please have your subjects in focus. I'd say try and stick to manual focus whenever possible for better control. You can take the help of the zoom in buttons of your DSLR to make sure that your subject is in focus. But even then, focusing, manual focusing remains a challenge when the aperture is wide open or say when you're faced with focus shifting. And that's where peaking comes in. Just like the zebra, peaking is a feature you'll find in Magic Lantern firmware. Once enabled, it pixelates the focused region of your frame in pink dots, again in real time. I am sure that with its graphical assistance, peaking would make it extremely easy for you to focus manually. Finally, if you're trying to achieve that cinematic look in your videos, you should definitely check out the CineStyle plugin. The plugin works only for Canon cameras, but you can find similar plugins for other brands online. Install the downloaded file into your DSLR and select the CineStyle picture profile from the settings. CineStyle is basically a picture profile which cuts some of the contrast, effectively capturing more details in your image, which is a big deal if you want to color grade your footage. 
you'll notice the real difference when you're outdoors and see it cutting down sunlight's intensity. If you don't mind spending thousand bucks, then you can definitely get better results with an ND filter. Even if you're indoors, you can achieve toned down and pleasing colors in your videos, just like this. Having said that, you don't really need an expensive DSLR to have all the features like you just saw. Thanks to the internet, there are many third-party plugins that help you get more out of your DSLRs. That said, let me know if you'd like to see more of such videos. Till then, it's me Rohit signing off and thank you for watching.